The MTN Arena in Lugogo, Kampala was filled to capacity with crime preventers who were eagerly awaiting an address by President Yoweri Museven. On 4th March, when the president relieved then Inspector General of Police General Kale Kaihura of his duties, crime preventers were left in limbo. This was because General Kaihura recruited this group, said to be over 11 million, and was their patron. The president was ushered into the venue at around 11 a.m. amidst applause from the group. National coordinator of the Crime Preventers Forum, Blaise Kamgisha, then took to the floor and narrated the grievances they had. All the youth observers were talking about crime preventers. Every candidate who was standing was praying with crime preventers. Even in, in the election petitions, crime preventers were there. So if we do not play an important role, how did we feature into all these enemies? In response, President Museveni assured the crime preventers that although Geno Kaihura was their founding patron, they were now a national outfit. He allayed fears that they would be dismissed with Kaihura now gone. This was, is not a, a, a Kale Kaihura program, but Kale, Kale Kaihura was a loyal cadre who actively implemented this program. When he, was... he has now set the record. Very straight. It gives us the courage and the motivation to work a little harder than we have been working. In fact, the president announced to cheers that crime preventers were now a reserve force attached to the national army, the UPDF. I now regard you as a reserve army of UPDF. Despite his many previous denials that crime preventers were partisan and a mobilization force tool of the ruling NRM, Kamgisha openly pledged that the group would support the ruling NRM party at all levels of governance. We can assure you we shall support NRM MPs, we shall support NRM candidates from the village level up to the national level. Kamgisha added that crime preventers would do anything for the president, including ensuring that he keeps the country's top job. I don't want to be misquoted by the media, but we can kill for the president. The opposition and civil society activists have often urged that crime preventers, who it was said were supposed to help the police keep law and order through community policing, were in fact NRM cadres illegally taking up taxpayers' money. The critics seem to have been vindicated. President Museveni promised to put more than 1 billion shillings into the Crime Preventers Savings and Credit Cooperative Society, SACO. In July, I will put 1.3 billion shillings in that SACO. Prominent among the dignitaries at the event was Deputy Inspector General of Police, Brigadier Sabit Musei. Ali Mivule, NTV. I'm <laughs>